everybody, it's Crystal. I'm so welcome to my channel, Bag of the Crochet. Hey, don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Check out my hundreds of crochet tutorials that I have and lots and lots of yarn content. If you don't crochet, I got you covered on that. I try to keep people updated on new yarns, new yarn companies, old yarn companies, just yarn in general. I like it. I mean, who doesn't? And I like to talk about it. So today, so what today's video is, it's going to be discussing mill-in yarn. It's M-I-L-L-S, or M-I-L-L-E-N-D-S, mill-in, mill-ins. So what mill-ins are, a lot of people don't know, but it's actually an inexpensive way to get yarn. So sometimes people think mill-ins are bad, and that's just not necessarily true. Um, mill ends can be a lot of things. Um, it's generally the end of the mill. Sometimes um, they ran out of labels uh, for the yarn that they have, so they throw it in the mill in that. Um, sometimes the, the color might be just a bit off, so they'll throw it in the mill in that. Sometimes the um, skins that come out or the cakes that come out don't weigh what they're supposed to weigh, so they'll throw them in the mill in that. Um, it can be simple things like that that can make the yarn just end up not being the quality that it's supposed to be. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It just means that, you know, they're not going to use it. Could have been just, you know, just some leftover, you know, like I said, and they just, they don't need it. So they throw it in a, and then they package it up and they sell it um, <laughs> most of the time at a lesser um, cost than regular yarn. So um, I will, I bought mill ends from three different companies today. Um, yarn Spirations, they have mill ends. I bought some from Mary Maxim. I said it right. I usually say Mary Maxim in Hirschner's. Now I think I bought three bags from each company and we're going to look at them and um, compare the prices and then we're going to see if they send you all the same or all not the same. Just see what the best place to buy millions are. Okay. Um, I always appreciate it. You know, when you watch my video from start to finish, you know, that means a lot to me. So let's go ahead and get started. First place we're going to start off is Yarn Spirations. Okay. Now, Yarn Spirations, they used to have such good deal on them. Their mill ends would be like $5.99 uh, for a one pound bag of yarn. And, and they would have sales often for $2.99. And that is a killer deal. But for some reason, I went there and they had upped the price to $9.99 for a one pound bag. Of yarn so this is what I received so this is what the mill ends look like I like to try to guess what the yarn is <laughs> it's fun um, so I'm gonna guess and I'm almost 100% or certain this is Caron simply soft and there are three balls of it there see you can see this is how the mill ends kind of come well from yarn inspirations it's one pound of yarn there's no labels on them but it will tell you that it is 100% acrylic um, and you can tell by looking that it's a four weight yarn and it is it's it's Carolyn simply soft I can tell by looking so and they want $9.99 for this mm. So that was one bag I bought and then I got two more bags from yarn serration So each of my bags were different now these I know right off the bat are Caron one pounders there's one one pounder in each bag, so that's a pound of yarn, which is a 100% four weight acrylic yarn. Okay, so they I paid $9.99 for each of these bags. That is not a deal. So they upped the prices of their mill ends at Yarns for Rations, and it is not a deal anymore. These are $9.99. You can get these at Joann's and Michael's when you when they have them on sale, sometimes for $6.99 a piece, the Caron one pounders. To pay $9.99 for a bag of millions, a Caron one pounder with no label, you don't even know if it's the correct, you know, I mean, why it ended up in the mill or anything. You don't know any, no, the color. I mean, I guess you could look it up, but I'm just saying, you're paying full price for it. And you really shouldn't have to do that with mill and yarn. So I was a little disappointed to see that they raised the price so much at uh, yarn durations on their millions because you're paying retail for it, is what you're paying. Um, well, my three bags is pretty much a retail price. So this is what I got from my restorations. Two Caron one pounders, $9.99 for this bag, $9.99 for this bag. That is a pretty peach though. 
and then $9.99 for this, which is maybe it's pretty much retail <laughs> for Carolyn Simply Soft, anyways. Um, especially since you can buy them on sale pretty much anywhere you want. I mean, even Walmart sells Carolyn Simply Soft. So I don't think that Yarn Inspirations uh, is going to have the best millions of this bat as, as far as um, price versus how well. I mean, that's retail. You're paying retail for that. So that was the Yarn Inspirations. Hey, but at least they sent me three different bags and they were all different. So that's cool because sometimes places send you the same bag. Same bags. You can order 10 bags from them and they can all be the same. It just depends. So next up is a Mary Maxim, okay? Now they did not have any acrylic mill-ins um, when I went there at the time. I know they sell them, but unfortunately they were out and all they had was cotton. But I thought, hey, we'll look at the cotton too and see, see how Mary Max, Maxim's cotton mill-ins are. Um, Yarn Inspirations does not sell cotton mill-ins that I am aware of. So let's look and see what Mary Maxim, Maxim has here to offer. So I got three bags of their cotton millens. One pound each. It says unbranded sugar and cream cotton. You don't get to choose the color. You just, all millens are like that. You just get what they send you. Sometimes it's all the same. Sometimes it's different. That's why I bought three of each so we can see if it's going to be the same or different. So in, um, these were... $9.99 each and actually that's not bad for a pound of cotton um let's see what we got so it is um sugar it says unbranded but sugar and cream i think they means that it has no label so sugar and cream is a good cotton it's very similar to peaches and cream it's good quality for the kitchen so i got one pound of white i don't know though you can go to walmart and well it's not a pound cone it's a 14 ounce cone that you get at walmart for like eight bucks i think you guys can tell me if i'm wrong so i guess this would be a little bit cheaper but anyways i got um see this one says 100 percent cotton not acrylic so i got white i got pretty colors actually that's pretty great for the kitchen this stuff is that's that pretty blue. I made a bag out of that color one time. You should check it out on my channel. Oh, that one's pretty too. It's another pretty. Actually, I guess this is green. <laughs> and this is blue. I'm sorry. So these were $9.99 a piece. Um, but I did have a 20% coupon code for Mary Maxim. Um, so you can easily find coupon codes for Mary Maxim on the internet. If you just type in Mary Maxim coupon codes, you might have to look through a few sites, but usually you can find a 20% off coupon code. So, or a free shipping code. So I got 20% off, which made it um, cheaper. So yeah, in my opinion, this was a good deal, but we'll go with the regular price at $9.99. It's just, it's a little better than retail, but not by much, if you know what I mean. It's better than retail, I guess, if you're buying the little balls. But, uh, I don't know. When you get the cones, the, the cones are a lot more money at Joann's and Michael's and stuff like that. But you can get the cones at Walmart for, I think, 8 or $9 a piece. So, but you can make your choice on that. But, um, I got the colors were all different in it. And I think that it's better than your inspirations. Buy a little bit. Now, let's check out. Kirshner's. That's the last place that I bought from. Now they actually had a few different types of millens at their store. And let's check it out. <clears throat> I think they had three different kinds of millens, so I bought three of each one. And they did. Okay. Okay. So, oh my gosh, there's some pretty yarn in here. Okay, so, okay, and this was inexpensive. Okay, so, um, let's see. First off, I got 
three bags. It's called a five ball assorted premium acrylic yarn assortment. Now, I believe that these were $5.99 a pack, okay? So, um, premium, ac premium acrylic. And there's five balls in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually six balls in here. But it says five ball pack. That is gorgeous, gorgeous brown. Look at that. It's got sparkle in it. <laughs> $5.99 for that. It says five balls, but there's six. Okay, I see what, okay, I see. Look at that, that is beautiful. I might, I, I'm gonna have to. It's kind of a lightweight yarn. It's a lighter three weight, kind of like Mandela, if you're familiar with that. Feels good, definitely scarfable, but I would make, a, this would be shallable for me. What do you think? That's gorgeous, $5.99. That's, okay, so this is the best deal so far. This came from Hershey's, and it was, I told you, it was now i don't know if this is what you'll get now remember it's different you never know what you're going to get but it, it was called five balls premium acrylic yarn assortment but i got one two packs of this brown copper sparkle and there were actually six balls in each pack and then they gave me one different one which is this one and this actually does have five balls in it. So see, you never know what you're going to get. But these were each $5.99. That is a good, good deal. See, that's an inexpensive way to get yarn. That appears to be about a three-way also. And it's a really pretty peach color. That'd work well. I mean, uh, that's enough there to make a nice baby blanket. Um, you know, pretty shawl. That That is a very good deal for that. That brown is so... <laughs> <laughs> but I like brown and copper. I was excited about that. Okay, next up they had um, they had 14 ounce bags of millens, and then they had one pound bag of millens. Okay, so we'll start with the. I don't know how you tell the difference in them, but let me see if it shows it on the label. Okay, this is. Okay, the 14 ounce bag of assorted mill ends were $9.99. Okay, here's one of them. Oh, it's cake yarn. I always like to try to guess what that is. I could be there could be pastry puffs. You know what? I really don't know what that is. But it says that it is one that's one a 100 percent acrylic yarn. And there are three cakes in there. It looks like plenty of yardage, and there's 14 ounces, so it's not a one-pound bag um, for $9.99, but it's pretty. And then I got actually another one of those, um, the same color. So there's plenty of that to make something. I'm going to um, look at one of these real quick and see. Oh, is that ever soft? That ever soft. Look at that. It really don't appear to be 100% acrylic, though, if you ask me. I mean, there's fibers hanging in it, which would be... I don't know, though. It, it could be, but, I mean, you see all them fibers? That would be, like... I would think there would be some type of wool in it, but I could be wrong. I'm not certain what that is, but it's a roving stuff, and it's very, very soft. Very pretty. That is really pretty. So I got two bags the same there. Those were, and they each have three cakes the same. I'm gonna have to try to find, if you guys know what cake that is, let me know. I'm curious. I'm usually pretty good at guessing, but that one's got me, got me wondering. Oh, and here's another one. This is a 14 pound milling assortment um, for $9.99. It's big, thick jumbo uh, Velux yarn some type of velvet yarn jumbo velvet there's two balls of that in there so it's pretty colors okay and then three more I'm going to show you they had one pound millions and they were $11.99 so they were two dollars more than yarn serrations let's hope that they're not retail priced okay I don't know what it is but it's one big <laughs> ball 
a purple yarn. It says that it is, um, I believe in the description they said they were acrylic. Can I, I'm going to open one up and check it out. Feels, feels, feels fine. Um, it's definitely something you can make a blanket out of. Scarfable. You know, it feels like an average four weight. I think it's four weight. Yeah. Average four weight yarn. I don't know how much is here. I mean, it's a pound of yarn, so, uh, you know, I'm guessing at least 800. I'm, it's a guess. You guys can help. You guys can take a guess, too. There's got to be at least 800 yards there. What do you think? I'm not sure how much is in the care on one pounders, but uh, at least that, I would say. So that's $11.99. Um, might be pushing towards the retail since you don't know, really know what yarn it is. Um, and then I have it. Oh! I got again another big ball of it <laughs> and yellow it's pretty yellow and another big ball of it and orange orange is yellow so those were my one it kind of looks like a pumpkin <laughs> the way it's shaped right now put a stem on it and it could, you could decorate with it okay so my thoughts on this is Yarn serrations, no, it's too much money now. I won't buy from them again unless they lower the cost of their millions. Hirschner's, the one pound balls for $11.99 these. Although they are they are um, just fine, four weight acrylic yarns, no, too much money for those. I mean, I like I said, I can buy Karen one pounders or Lion Brand Pounder Loves for cheaper than $11.99 and I, it has a label and everything and so, I won't buy those again. Nothing wrong with them. I just won't buy those again. Okay. Um, the Hirschner's um, 14 ounce millens for $9.99. I think these are pretty cool. I would pay $9.99 for these again. I really like it. I think it's soft. But this, I'm not a big fan of this type of yarn. It could be worth $9.99. I don't know because I don't buy it very often. So I couldn't tell you. Um, but the thing is, you don't know what you're going to get. So if I bought the 14 ounces again for $9.99 from Kirshner's, I could get different. I could get more of these that I like. I could get more of this that I'm not, you know, a big fan of. That's just a chance you take with millions. Okay, so I probably would rebuy these uh, 14 ounce ones from Kirshner's because um, I like this yarn that I got. And... This one is, there's nothing wrong with this. This will make an excellent, like, chunky uh, cowl or infinity scarf and a hat to match it. You know, there's probably enough there to do that. So, that. Um, Mary Maxim, their cotton is fine. Um, would I buy it? Now, it's, it's a little cheaper than retail, but it's still pressing up there towards retail. But... I would probably buy again because it's good to have cotton around for uh, dishcloths and stuff and it, it is a little cheaper than retail unless I go to Walmart and get the cones I guess um, but it's fun for the mister to see what colors you're gonna get too sometimes you get variegated or speckled and stuff like that so that I would probably buy again now I would definitely the one I would definitely buy the one I think is the best deal is you go to Hirschner's, it's the premium acrylic five ball yarn assortment for $5.99. How can you beat that price? So I got three of them and two were the same and one was different. So I got these five. And then these had six in them. And this brown copper is right up my alley. I don't care if it's lightweight, it's gorgeous. So that's my video of the best places well there's other places to get millions but i wanted those are three main places and yes you should hit hirschner's up that's a good deal on these now remember i cannot i don't know if you're going to get the same ones as me that's the part that's the thing with millions you never know it's just the fun and the mystery but that seems to be the best deal that i found on the mystery milling ba bags it's just it's the hirschner ones their uh, 14 ounce ones I would buy again and their five ball assortment packs for $5.99 I would definitely definitely buy that again I don't know what I'll get again but hey 
it's still uh, it's still fun. So that's my video. But you know what? I don't need all this. I don't. I don't need it. I bought it to show you. Now I'm gonna give it away. Okay? I'm gonna give it away. So if you guys are interested in this yarn, you'll get one, two, three pounds of the four weight acrylic there from Hershner's and then the 14 ounce ones there's three bags of those I really like this one a lot you get three cakes in each of those so one two three four five six bags and then the cotton you'll get your three bags of cotton that's a lot of pounds of cotton the bags from um yard serrations with uh, which are overpriced <laughs> way overpriced but it's still nice yarn three of those and then the bags from Hershner's. can i keep i'm going to keep one of the browns because i have to i have to keep it i want to make a shawl out of that and i'll do a tutorial on it but one bag of the brown sparkly and copper so i hope that's okay and then um this peach that's not it though that is not it because i have some melons from a previous purchase that i'm going to throw in too so i got another pound of white yarn another pound of uh baby blue boucle yarn i think that's how you say it i'm gonna put them in a different box another pound of a four weight just blue acrylic yarn and one more pound of four weight black yarn okay so that is a lot of yarn one, two, three, four. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen bags. Um, eighteen bags. And sixteen, uh, they're almost all one pound bags, almost. Maybe not these, but uh, probably pretty pretty close. I don't know. So, you know my giveaways before? You know what to do. Read the rules, okay, in the description box. And then um, subscribe to me. Like this video. Come follow me on Instagram if you can. If you can't, it's not mandatory. But if you can, it's, you know, I always show sneak peeks of what I'm making. Or what I have on the hook. And then, um... It starts today, it's, which is 5-5-2021, and it's going to end 5-10-2021 at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and sometime after 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on the 10th of May. I will draw a winner right in front of everybody, okay? Now, you need, in order for me to choose a winner, you need to leave a comment in the comment section, okay? And I want you to tell me, um, you have to leave a specific comment. Out of those bags of millens that I just showed you, out of all of them, which one was your favorite? That's what I want to know in the comment section. Now, remember, if I draw your name and you haven't, you didn't tell me which one your favorite was, that means you didn't watch the video. I'll have to pick somebody else. So, uh, let me know in the comment section. And yeah, good deal at Hirschner. Set that up before everybody else wipes them out. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you soon on my next video. And uh, yeah, but remember, I, I have to say this one more time. I'm sorry for repeating myself. The comment has to be in the comment section of this video. Nowhere else. You can't email me or anything because that doesn't count. Because I use a random comment picker and it chooses from the comments of this section. Of this uh, comment section. Which one was your favorite out of all the millions? Mine is this copper brown with the copper in it. Please! I hope you're not mad that I kept this. I was intentionally going to put them all in the giveaway. But I have to keep this one to make a shawl. And I'll do a tutorial, I promise. And I couldn't throw it in there anyways. Because then it would have been an odd number. of 19 bags instead of 18. So. Bye guys. Hey. I love you all. Stay safe, okay? See you later.